Item number, SCP-474, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Portions of SCP-474 which exist inside of physical space are secured within Foundation-made pill bottles. Bottles are stored inside a locked medicine cabinet, itself located within an anomaly storage vault. All non-hazardous recordings of SCP-474 audio are on the research team's shared hard drive space, with any cognitohazardous audio being stored on a secure server with restricted access. Foundation personnel embedded in educational systems are to encourage zero-tolerance drug policies on college campuses in order to maximize the possibility of SCP-474 instances being discovered. Agents under the cover of being law enforcement agencies are to seize these whenever possible and destroy them if deemed unrecoverable. Description SCP-474 denominates pills produced for non-medicinal purposes by Alex Silva University, in apparent collaboration with the Oaniri Collective. Each occurrence of SCP-474 is blue, and analysis has shown it to be chemically identical to generic sugar-based placebo pills. When ingested, SCP-474 will affect the consumer until the next time they enter REM sleep. Audio broadcast from Alex Silva University will begin playing through their mouths consisting of station breaks and notes associated with that campus's radio station. This spoken word programming will be in the subject's native language, with mute subjects mouthing words, and DHH individuals enunciating as they would attempting speech normally. Although music is frequently referenced, it has not been broadcast audibly. Affected individuals who remember their dreams will report them as having a heavy musical theme. Dreamers, even musicians, have been unable to replicate the sounds they heard, but have universally described it as some variation of trippy. The speaker within Alexilva appears to have some connection with the individuals they broadcast through, as multiple subjects tuned into the station in their dreams will have identical muscle contractions and eye movement while being affected. See Addendum 474B for more information. SCP-474 was discovered after a local broadcast news station and aired a story about a drug craze at a local community college campus. 65 instances of SCP-474 were recovered from various members of the student body. Since then, approximately 50 caches of SCP-474 are recovered annually from various college and university campuses in North Africa, North America, Europe, Eurasia, Oceania, and Australia. Foundation personnel working on SCP-474 who receive recruitment literature from Alex Silva University in their dreams are to report to their supervisors immediately upon waking. Addendum 474A Documentation Associated with SCP-474 Alex Silva University proudly proclaims another triumph in their successful working relationship with the Oaniri Collective Educational Animus a method for mentally crowded students to let airwaves flow into their ears and put to good use that time which is wasted sleeping. University elders pray to the gods that this provides an outlet for student stress, and as there are no known side effects mixing with other school-sponsored narcotics, it can be acquired from any nurse station. Alex Silva University Staff Oaniri Dreams of Radio Eat a pill before dream time Enjoy dream programming. Advertising is provided for those in the waking world. Don't mind them. Keep rocking the dream. Addendum 474B Testing logs of SCP-474 audio phenomenon. Subject intake. D0327, two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. Play recorded file. DJ Ote here with VVAUR, Alexa University, 21-8 BCFM, radio with a reason. Reminder that the Visigoths will engage the Eastside Ostrogoths tonight in gladiatorial combat. It's the last chance to run for student body, senate, consul, or tribune election, so if you're interested, be sure to register. Now, for a wonderful selection of Hannibal and the Baraka Rakas. End of recording. Note. 
Subject reported dreaming of roaming swamps on an elephant while dancing while tearing their eyes out, which was reported as enjoyable. Subject intake. D0327. Two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. Play recorded file. DJ Ote here, VVAUR, Alexa University Radio, 21-8 BCFM, Radio, with a reason. Viscera clean to tensions tonight for you-know-who. Be there before sundown. Drug dispensary from the nurse opens in the morning. And the first debates of the Tribunate election are going to be in the forum tonight. Gonna leave you off with a wonderful sampling of the Etruscan way. Hey, hey. End of recording. Note. Subject noted songs in an incomprehensible language sung to them as they explored a hilly area, before waking up when a storm began forming above them. Subject intake. D0327. Two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. Play recorded file. Just wanted to remind everybody that tryouts for the Visigoth practice squad are tonight. Bring your own armor, as none will be provided. In the morning, you can pick up your chariot decals for those of you who paid in advance. And the last day to drop classes is approaching, so check with your tutors that all is well in the house of Gradebook. End of recording. Note. Subject was not able to remember their dreams. Subject intake. D0327. Two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. Play recorded file. Hey everybody, DJ Ote here with some consular election announcements I'm contractually obliged to read. First one's up from Polybus Maximus, who pledges to clean up the streets and the Tudor sheets. Vote P for consul. Then we got his opponent, Tacitor, who says you won't have to quote laws with your sword. T for consul. Tacitor, the candidate of men with soft swords and hard heads. Coming up, we got springtime for Caesar in the Romulus Orchestra Band. Coming right at ya. End of recording. Note. Last known broadcast of DJ Ote. Real name believed to be Polybus Maximus. Subject intake. D0412. Two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. This is DJ Livia's VVAUR Alexa uh, Reason Radio. I'm saddened today to report the passing of our friend DJ Ote. His chariot had been found with slashed tires and a large brick was dropped on his horse. Ote's body has not been found, however, mo most of his blood was. For any who may be listening, we here at VVAUR beg you not to act out against citizens, even those who speak out of turn. End of recording. Note. The following note was regurgitated by D0412 following the conclusion of the test. Although these are rainy days for all those who love peace on campus, the threat of political violence will not prevent the normal carrying out of campus activities. The announcement of consular election results will be announced on the campus forum. Simultaneously, funeral services to those who perished due to violence against citizens will be held on the adjacent green. Beloved campus figure Polybus Maximus will be put to rest. Along campus, Maniple security will be present to prevent any violence between those groups. So please, feel free to safely attend either event. Alex Silva University staff. Subject intake. D0412. Two SCP-474 pills prior to sleeping. Result. After several hours of dead air emanating from D0412's mouth, along with distant sounds of human screams and mayhem, an individual believed to be Maximus Thrax, the captain of the Visigoth Gladiator's combat sport team, entered the station and proclaimed this message. If anyone listens to this, Thrax, your team captain, commands your attention. The university is burning. It's the action... It's actions like this that remind me why I picked up the sword. Call for help. Cowards. Chance to cut down political types don't come every moon. Let's go home carrying our shields or carried in them. End of recording. Note. Shortly after the broadcast ended, D0412 spontaneously suffered dozens of simultaneous spear wounds. 
Testing has been suspended until a cost-benefit analysis of potential D-Class resources being lost can be performed. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-473, Supai, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.